Hi, um, my name is Sydney. Um, I'm also known by my Tumblr URL. Um, that's amably debauched sloth. And um, I'm here to talk about my favorite historical figure, who's Robert Fitzroy. Um, so Robert Fitzroy was a prominent captain, hydrographer, um, scientist, and politician, and meteorologist uh, during the sort of first half of the 19th century. Um, he was born in 1805, um, and he began his naval career when he was 12 years old. When he was 19, he um, passed his lieutenant's examination with um, full marks, which is basically 100%, um, which was the first time that had ever been done in history, so that's uh, pretty cool. He was, uh, he was promoted to commander of the HMS Beagle temporarily um, on its first surveying mission to Tierra del Fuego um, when its previous captain, Pringle Stokes, committed suicide. He went on his second voyage um, with the HMS Beagle um, and brought with him Charles Darwin. Um, eventually the two became best friends um, and they uh, sort of did science together, science bros. On return from his first trip with the Beagle, he brought back with him four Fuegians and he began to become sort of very fatherly to them. Um, he's often kind of portrayed as being um, the baby snatcher of Tierra del Fuego, which is totally untrue. He had um, <laughs> come across these, um, three of them were children, one of them was an adult. He had come across them uh, purely by random happenstance and he became very fatherly to them. He um, treated them very nicely, he got them clothes, he and they were quite fond of him as well, and when they had returned to Tierra del Fuego um, on the second voyage with Charles Darwin, it, they everyone had broke down in tears because they were leaving behind um, the three beloved children and the one kind of grumpy 30-year-old guy. <laughs> and they, they were all emotionally distraught, and he was uh, especially Robert Fitzroy. When he came back to um, England, eventually his relationship with Charles Darwin started to become very strained because he was extremely prone to violent outbursts. Um, he had a very, very quick temper. His crew nicknamed him Hot Coffee uh, in reference to his anger. So they would say in the morning, how hot's the coffee? And the people would reply with hot or cold, depending on whether or not Fitzroy was angry or calm. Um, he was also supposedly manic depressive. It, the mental disease didn't exist back then, and so it's very difficult to know whether or not he actually was. But in my opinion, um, based off of letters and just everything that was happening in his life, it's very, very possible that he was. He was prone to depression. He um, nearly resigned captaincy of the HMS Beagle during its second voyage um, after being reprimanded by the um, Admiralty. He did a bunch of sort of political endeavors. They never really got too far. Um, he was involved in a couple political scandals where uh, he was beaten up outside of a London club. And eventually in uh, 1849, he became governor of New Zealand. Um, there he was sent to solve the problem of the Maori. The Maori are the natives of New Zealand. And um, what had happened was there was land disputes because the white people were taking over the Maori land, which was theirs by they were there, right? Um, and so uh, Fitzroy was sent to solve the problem, which was either exterminate the Maori or stop them from having wars with the white people. And he, Robert Fitzroy actually tried to equalize the rights of the Maori and the white people, and he wanted Maori to have um, equal, equal claims to the land. He wanted them to be equal under the law. Uh, he stood up a lot for ethnic minority rights. He was um, a little bit ahead of his time and often he was um, mocked for what he had uh, done to try and help these people. He was a fellow of the Royal Society after doing many um, meteorolo meteorol meteorological <laughs> um, experiments. He had uh, coined the term weather forecasting and had actually in fact invented it himself. He set up weather stations across the world where they would telegraph back to him um, uh, weather readings, and he would predict the um, the weather and post those in the Times newspaper. Most of the time, they were wrong, but it was still a huge advancement. It helped many small fishing communities um, know when like hurricanes were coming. He um, he was very he he was very active um, in the naval community, trying to get um, trying to save the lives of sailors. He um, 
tried to institute different laws, he popularized um, uh, the term port when originally it had been starboard and larboard, which were very easy to mix up, especially when you're yelling it in a storm. And he had insisted that all um, ships start using this term. And he popularized it amongst his men. He was very big on saving lives, pretty much. He was very gentle heart despite being appearing to be very rash as he as i said was prone to uh, huge fits of anger sometimes um he was involved in the oxford debate after the public pub um pub publicizing of the um on the origin of species by charles darwin he was very opposed to the um to the book when it was published because um he was extraordinarily religious. He very strongly believed in the scriptures and he was very um, pissed off at Darwin when he had published On the Origin of Species. He hated that Charles Darwin offered no credit towards the officers, um, the other men on the trip, and himself for actually helping Charles Darwin come up with this, um, with the mechanics of evolution. Eventually Charles Darwin um, got so angry at him that they both just cut off communication with each other, um, which is a real disappointment because I think that together they could have um, achieved further um, scientific advancements. They were they were both very intelligent men, um, and it's a shame that their friendship had to end for a very immature dispute over a book that was published. Fitzroy um, eventually... Uh, succumbed to a bout of depression and killed himself in 1865 when he was 60 years old. Before his death, he was vice admiral. He had a, a huge naval career. Um, he was married twice and had uh, four children with his first wife and one with his second wife, one of his children. He advanced to have um, a very illustrious naval career. Um, and it's quite unfortunate that uh, Robert Fitzroy isn't very remembered um, outside of the uh, meteorological community and stuff uh, because he did some amazing things. He was, although he hated to admit it and although it was one of the reasons for his eventual suicide, he was responsible for the, um, for Charles Darwin coming up with the idea of, uh, the, or more the mechanics of evolution as it had been sort of floating around for a year, few years now. I, I feel that a lot of his potential was definitely wasted. He could have gone on to do so many amazing things um, for both the naval community and the scientific community, um, but his life was cut short due to depression, um, which is definitely a shame. Um, I think that he was an amazing man, and uh, he, he, was, he was very fair, and he, he was f definitely ahead of his time in terms of how he thought, about um, different races and definitely a fascinating man. And I suggest that you read more about him. There's a kind of a sad Wikipedia article on him, but if you do some searching, you can find it as well. I direct you towards the Darwin Correspondence Project. I'll post a link to the uh, website, sorry, on, a, uh, t on the Tumblr post for this because it's, it's quite interesting. It's a collection of letters uh, to, from, and about Charles Darwin. Um, and it's got a bunch of letters that Robert Fitzroy had sent to Charles Darwin. So it gives you a very interesting insight on their relationship, um, as well an a very interesting insight on the man, because afterwards, um, after his death, there's a few letters sent to Charles Darwin and from Charles Darwin um, on the character of uh, Robert Fitzroy. And uh, you, you just get this very interesting look at a guy that nobody um, really knows about anymore, which is definitely a shame, as I said, like a bazillion times before. But um, I just love love um, Robert Fitzroy so much because he was just such a fascinating character and so important to the scientific community. 